what's up y'all it's your girl sana amira and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to do something really different from what i usually do and that is going to be things that tiktok made me buy now i have never been like one to be super excited to download tiktok i was super late to the game and the only reason why I got it is because of quarantine. But ever since I downloaded it, I have so much fun watching videos, making videos. That's why I'm going to do this today. Now, I brought my dirty ass brushes because what TikTok made me buy is this cleaning set. <laughs> I don't think this was the exact model that the girl had on TikTok but I liked the color of it because it's pink and it's got rose gold. So I was like, oh, it's super girly and fun. I like it. So yeah, that's what made me get this. So we are going to test this out and see if it actually works because usually I use this thing. It's kind of dirty. It still has my makeup all over it and my brushes still aren't clean. So it didn't really work. It worked for like my smaller brushes, but for my big ass Morphe foundation brush, it did not work at all. Like these bristles at the top that are this light brown color, it's supposed to be white. So we'll see if this bad boy here can get this nasty ass brush clean. <laughs> so stay tuned if you want to see. All right, so let's dig into this box. Mm -mm, it looks like I might have to charge it. called the Libra X electric makeup brush cleaner set electric cleaning time-saving effective this is all looks like if it cleans I'll leave the link in the bio so y'all can purchase it for yourself so yeah let's dig into this box Ooh, register your product and get an extra 12 months warranty too well so product operating guide, put some water in soap or makeup cleaning shampoo into the bowl. So I usually use hand soap, which might be one of my issues when cleaning the brush. So I decided to use dishwashing soap and hopefully it'll work. And if it's sensitive on duckies, it'll be sensitive on my brush and it'll be fine for my skin. And then let's see, it says find the suitable collar and insert the brush into the spinner. All right, so here's the spinner here. Oh, it's working. Cool. I should probably still charge it. But yeah, this is what it looks like. But yeah, it's baby. Well, not even baby pink. It's more of like a a blush pink and then this awesome rose gold chrome-esque finish for the accent pieces oh good I was so worried that it didn't come with the bowl because like it shows you this piece but it doesn't show you the actual bowl but it does actually come with a bowl so thank you God I don't even know what all this stuff is so Here's the stand for all the stuff. All right. So I feel like this, nope, too small. Oh man, don't tell me I don't have a thing for this because the rest look too small. Well, I guess this will work. Yeah, perf. And here's the little charging thing. with these rubber things that you use to hold the brushes in place and it's 
cool because this stand holds all of them. All right, so let's see, what else does it tell you to do? Press the switch button to turn on the positive rotation, press the switch button to reverse, push the switch button to reversal, press the switch button to turn it off. The product warranty period is one year from the date of purchase. You can register your product with us in order to get extra 12 months, so 24 months in total, including free product replacement, technical support, and any important updates or upgrades to your product. Cool. Okay, so let me go fill this up with water. I didn't really specify, it just says put some water and soap or makeup cleansing shampoo into the bowl. So let me go fill this up real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so I filled it up with water and there's actually a little marker right here that says max. So I'm assuming that's the max amount you should put your water. And I didn't even realize it, but I filled it right up to the max point. So I'm just, I'm on it. And then put some soap in there. So I'm gonna add the dishwashing soap. It's gonna be super soapy. So I added some dishwasher soap and it's gonna be like super soapy. <laughs> Sorry, my dog was barking. All right. So then it says place Find the suitable collar and insert the brush into the spinner. And for, let's see, let me tell you what size my Morphe brush is. So I have the M439 brush, the Morphe M439 brush, and I'm using this 19 millimeter um, collar for it. Turn, press the switch button on to turn on positive rotation. Look at the water. It's so gross. It doesn't say how long to do it. For reversal, I guess that's to dry it. Well, it got the tip of it clean, like the outer part of it is now white, but the inside of the brush is still brown. So, let's see, maybe I should clean the water, get new water. Look at that. <laughs> That's like coffee. Just kidding. Okay, so let me go clean out. Let me go get fresh water and see if I can get the rest of the brush clean. So I'm really excited because I haven't seen the edge. <laughs> I haven't seen this brush be white in a very long time. So yeah, okay, let me go clean it out real quick and I'll be right back. And is it dry? Let me see if it's dry too. It's still wet, but it's okay. All right. So I've got some more clean water. Throw in my dish soap. All right, let's get this baby going. Now it doesn't tell you like how long to put the brush in here so I'm just kind of gauging and hoping that it cleans it because like the first time I feel like that took at least like three minutes and I still feel like I see dirt like brown stuff on the edges and like I don't know what to do to like clean it more like to get the inside of it clean. All 
Oh shit, oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> now I did fill it up a little bit over. Oh, and it's still dirty. Maybe I should put less soap. Cause I can still see that it's, yeah, like the edges of it are getting clean. But still that center part of it is like dirty as fuck. So let me try one more time and clean up my mess. All right. Hopefully third time is the charm because yeah, I don't know like what to do to like make it clean the middle of it because when I push down the brush it stops the spinning of it so I don't know how what I can do to like deep clean the middle part of the brush and I can feel this thing is getting kind of hot so and I remember it saying something about charging it okay Well, the water looks a little less murky. So this outfit probably looks familiar to you and that's because I, I tried it on in my Fashion Nova haul slash try on. It's a part of their activewear line. So I'll make sure to link that in the info bar for you guys. And also these earrings might look familiar to you as well because I wore that in one of my videos for Bling Team Jewelry, where I also have a discount code for you in there. So I'll put that in the info bar so you can check that out and also get you some goodies for the low low. So good and good in the sky. I use maybe that to get the extra extra stuff out if it would work the reversal seems like it goes faster maybe that's to dry it I mean it's definitely getting cleaner I can definitely see a difference because even the edging part is getting a little bit wider, just a little bit. Okay. Let me do it one more time and see if he'll get it clean. Cause it's def it's getting clean. Like this is the cleanest I've seen it in a while. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like it's getting clean. It just, it's taking forever, but it's working. It's working better than me doing it manually. So. <laughs> Okay, so let me go get some more water. And it's actually kind of dry too. It's pretty dry, so that's cool too. So let me go empty this out and get more water, get more clean water. I will be back. All right. I thought third time would be the charm. Hopefully the fourth time will be the charm. <laughs> And you shouldn't put a lot of dish soap, dish soap, dish, dish soap, say that five times fast. <laughs> Don't put a lot of dish soap in there because it bubbles it up and it kind of makes it unbearable or impossible to do the reverse. Because when you do the reverse, like in the second time I was doing it, you could see the water coming out of the bowl. And I think that's Part, partly because I went a little bit over the max level and then I did put a lot of soap in there. So yeah, just keep that in mind with this. All right, here's the fourth time. Oh, see, it's already like bubbling over and I didn't put that much soap. I only put a dot. Now it's bubbling. It's 
like coming out the edge. What the heck, y'all? Maybe I didn't rinse it out well enough and it's got more soap than usual, but but yeah, now it's bubbling again. I spoke too soon. So I'm rubbing it on the bottom, hoping to get the dirt and stuff in the middle, but it still looks dirty as fuck. Hmm. Yeah, it's not clean yet. Maybe I'll try regular soap so it doesn't get as bubbly. Ooh. Looks like the middle part is getting kind of white, but like on the outskirts, it's not. It's trying to get clean. Try this again, guys. Okay, y'all. <laughs> this is the fifth time. Um, so there's still dish soap on this, which could make it over bubble again. But instead of dish soap, I put two squirts of just regular antibacterial hand soap. So let's see if this works. Again, not completely clean, but. It is getting there. Let's see. I'm going to grab my computer and see if there's something that I'm missing. Whew, this computer is cold. Okay. All these people's brushes don't even look like super dirty. My shit... I've been using for like a very long time and not cleaning up. I don't even want to say how long because it's gross because yeah I rarely ever wash my brushes which could be why it's like super dirty <laughs> and it woke them out. I probably stained the bristles but it's like coming out on the edges and a little bit in the middle too. So like it's getting clean but not as clean as I want it to be. Not like brand new clean. So like they don't really say, I watched two videos and they didn't say how long like they would leave it in the water. <sighs> but their brushes did end up going, getting clean. And I know the first girl, she ended up using like makeup cleanser and the, the product, the instruction manual does say to use either soap or makeup cleanser. So maybe I should be using makeup cleanser, but I just feel like dish soap is just so much powerful than makeup cleanser, but maybe I could be wrong. I mean, I definitely see a difference in it. Maybe if I wash it uno mas tiempo, it'll work. Cause yeah, it's definitely getting clean. Like it's just taking for fucking ever. My other two brushes aren't even that dirty. Um, so yeah, let's, oh, and look, the water. It's like getting less and less murkier every single time. So it's working. It's just taking forever. And I, oh, I don't have enough patience for this. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> All right. I think we're on the sixth time. So yeah, maybe the sixth time is the charm. But I can see it is visually getting cleaner. Like the brown is dispersing. Like at first it was just getting clean around like the edges. And now I can see that it's a little bit clean in the middle. So maybe me dipping it is helping it a little bit. Um, but yeah, here we go. Six time. Maybe I should have charged this a little. Maybe the power of it would have gone a little bit better. Maybe I charged it first. 
but it said it'll tell you that it doesn't have power when it starts blinking red like blue means that it's charged and then once it turns red that means that it's not charged so maybe it's good on power I keep sniffling because I had to get a chip break I was eating some of my favorite chips which are the Uts Red Hots they are so spicy but they're so flavorful and so good I love them so much so yeah I'm sniffling a little bit because they were hot and again, I just put the regular hand soap, but it's getting like super bubbly. This one girl, she didn't have the same, um, like when I was watching the other videos, I don't think hers was by the same company, but her tub, her bowl thing was getting super dirty. Like it was getting foggy and murky and gross looking when she was cleaning hers but luckily mine hasn't done that yet so I'm thankful for that and the water is about to bubble over on this thing so it's not going to be dry still dirty I'm not discouraged, I'm just annoyed because it's taking forever. The water is a lot less murky too, but like it's not getting anywhere. I mean, it's getting somewhere, but it's not getting super clean where I need it to be. I'll be back. And better than ever all right so I'm gonna go back to the dish soap and see if that does anything just a little drop So I saw a girl, one of the girls that I was watching to see if I could, if I was doing anything wrong or could do anything different. Um, she was struggling with finding a sleeve for her makeup brushes, but I feel like they give you, at least with this company, they give you such a wide variety of sleeves that you could probably find the right one for your makeup brush, which is a good thing. One hour later. So it's not a hundred percent clean, but I feel like for how dirty this brush is, this is as clean as it's gonna get. I'll I'll try to use this to see if this works any better to get just this excess stuff off. But I mean, it pr cleans it pretty well. It gets majority of the dirt and grime gone. I'm pretty sure if I do this like maybe a couple of more times like maybe do 10 more rounds <laughs> not 10 more rounds but get to 10 because i think i'm on i'm either on six or seven right now so if maybe if i get to 10 it'll be more clean but i have other brushes that i want to clean and i want to see if they clean them better i mean it definitely gets it cleaner than what i was doing with my with doing it manually I love how fluffy it feels. Like it gets it back to its original softness and fluffiness. But yeah, I'm sure if I did it a couple more times, it would be clean. Cause like I said, this started out brown and now I can see the white on it. And even in the center, I can see the right, the white. So I think me like jabbing it down on the middle part kind of helped it get clean as well. I gotta keep playing with it to figure out what will optimize the clean experience for this because it's a lot 
just sitting here. It's better than doing it back and forth on the brush pad, but like, it's not getting clean how I want it to get clean. So let me try these other two brushes, or actually other three brushes, to see if they work. And let me clean out my bowl as well. <laughs> like, I'm not mad at this. Like, it's gotten a lot cleaner than what I could get it. And I know I could probably get it all the way clean. It would just take for fucking ever. All right. So I'm going to start with my littlest brush next, which is this angled brush, which is for your brows. But I use it for my contour. If you watch my Get Ready With Me birthday edition 2020 video, <laughs> you'll see how I use this brush. Let's try this out. I feel like this would probably be the best fit for it. You can see at the bottom, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it has the makeup <laughs> on the bottom of it, which I'll clean out later. With the tip on this one, I think it might have been purple, but I can't tell anymore because it's so dorky. But I'm actually getting the brown stuff off the bottom <laughs> by scraping the brush on the bottom of the bowl. See, now since this isn't getting it super soapy and bubbly I can probably use my other brushes in this water but you can't see the water getting dirty oh I did get clean oh yeah it definitely cleaned this one yay all right next one I'll do my blush brush I'm saving this one for last because it fell on the ground and then my speaker fell on top of it and bent the brush. <laughs> so this needs like a deep cleaning, but yeah. <laughs> it's it, it still works. I can still put on my uh my highlighter with this. I'm just sad that this bent, but that's what happened. I should pick it up off the ground and it says waiting forever. Okay. So I'll use this one. Yeah, this one's perfect. And like I said, since the water is not that dirty and it's not that bubbly, I'll use it for this one. This one, it looks kind of brown, like the bristles were brown, but actually the top of the bristles are purple. So we'll see if it gets its color back. And I love this brush because it looks like a unicorn horn um, and it has an ombre color effect with the bristles because it starts out as this like cream color, then it goes pink and then it goes purple. But since I use this for like my blush, it's gotten kind of dirty. So let's see if it gets it super clean. It's looking purple as fuck. It's looking super purple. It's got it super clean. Like, look how purple it is now. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, I think it's cleaning these brushes because they're not as dirty as my foundation brush because I use my foundation every single day I don't use my blush and I don't use my contour every single day and I don't clean my brushes as often as I should like I said before so that's pretty I'm I'm chopping it up to that that it's just super dirty and just if I do it more times that it will get clean because like I said it's almost white um 
But yeah, I love this. This thing is great. Even though I have no patience, like, for... If this wasn't as dirty as it was, it could get super clean like this brush. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. It does take forever, but I am happy. I don't even know what these things are for. Like, oh, maybe this is to clean it. To clean out the bowl. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I bet that's what that's for. But I don't know what this blue thing is for. Because it doesn't even tell me. This is the user manual, but it doesn't tell me what those are for. It just tells me how to use this thing. Let's see if there's any other stuff on it. Nope, that's it. Manual charging station, eight rubber holders, silicone collar stand, one brush spinner, electric brush cleaner. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I guess. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't tell you what this is for, but I bet it's to clean out the bowl. Purchase. Let me just do one more brush and see if it works. Oh, perfect. And this is the right one for this, too. Yeah, so this one's super dirty and gross because it fell on the ground. I think that's a dog hair. Yep, that's a dog hair on that. And there's some dirt. <laughs> but let's see how clean. This is what it looked like when I first bought it at the bottom. But like I said, I use this for highlight as well. I use this one for blush. I don't know if you can see it, but I use this one for blush and I use this one for highlight. So let's see if it gets it clean. So I feel like a good gauge to like know when to pull this out of the tub, the tub <laughs> of the bowl is when it starts to get super bubbly. Like when it starts to get super bubbly like this, I think that's the time when you should pull it out and do the reverse just so it doesn't get super. <gasps> oh, I thought the brush fell off, but it's spinning so freaking fast and it's such a thin bristle that you can't even freaking see it. Like, look, at first I thought the bristles like fell out, but, um. But yeah, when it starts to get super bubbly like that, I think that's when you should start pulling it out and then cleaning out the water and getting a new fresh batch of water. It's pretty clean. And this is by Morphe as well. I'm not sure. So how the girl sold it to me is that it could be used as a highlight brush, but I think I'm gonna end up getting a real highlight brush because, I mean, yes, it does its job, but I want it to be more precise with the line. So I feel like when it's fanned out like that, that will give me a better, um, a better line for the highlight, but I'll still use this one too. This brush. Ooh. Is the M five ten. So yeah. All in all, I'm definitely pleased by this. It definitely cleans the brushes. You just have to, you gotta be patient. Patience is a freaking virtue. So if y'all enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment and subscribe. If y'all liked how this 
cleaned my brushes, I will leave the link to it in the description box below. I think it's worth the money. This was like $25 and it definitely got majority of my brushes clean. Like I said, if I do it more times, I definitely think that it would clean this brush completely because y'all saw this brush in the beginning. It was brown at the bristles and now it's white on the edges and white in the center and the brown is getting lighter and lighter and lighter. So I definitely think this works. It's worth the money. If you are tired of rubbing your brush on a cleaning pad like this, definitely invest in one of these bad boys. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I mean, if you don't have patience, listen to some music, watch some TV while you do this, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. If you guys enjoyed this, does this thing really work? video like bunny says um leave it in the comments let me know what you want me to try out next make sure to follow me on all my social media at Anna samira and i'll see you guys next time bye